What's up, guys? My name's Mayor, and welcome to a reaction video. Um, today we're react reacting to a um show from called Alpha Betas. It's a it's the plot episode. So if you guys don't know what um Alpha Betas is, it's pretty much like a it's a show that has like cast that casts of the Va some of the Vanos crew. So it has Vanos, Marcel, oh who else is there? Terrorizer and then Wildcat. That's those four ones, and they play like they play like virtual deep dive virtual reality games, it like animated, which looks pretty cool. I've seen little bits bits of it out on the internet. It came out today, but I it was like at my time it was like five a.m., so I was asleep at the time, so I missed it. So I'm a little light to it. It's like it's like noon right now, so I'm a little light to it. So I'm just gonna shut up and just hopefully enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy it. On my speech. Okay. All right. You ready, boys? Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> Oh, that's me. Just sit up and take a deep breath. Okay. Thank you. Holy shit! Oh, fuck! I'm gonna need some room. Grenade! <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> Face it, covering fire. Hope I don't get copyright claimed from the video. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. Can someone translate this to German? What's up, you nazi bitch? <laughs> seen it from the trailer. Holy shit. That thing is historically accurate. Uh, are you sure this thing is historically accurate? <laughs> <laughs> this is literally this is literally some meme of boys. <laughs> I can't believe they did it. Of course they did it. It's their <laughs> job to do it. So what's the problem? Oh god. The problem is how they do it. American heroes. <laughs> I love this show. This is, I kind of like it. CIA can put us. Save it, Allison. Like me, President Clifton was horrified to learn that your division accounts for 70% of our defense budget. And we have absolutely no idea what the energy division actually does that's a blank notebook daryl and this is an official audit today i'll be deciding the future of this program and you <sighs> fine what i'm about to show you will change how you see the world in the early 1970s the world started running out of oil we tried renewables but they were unreliable and confusing. We needed something sustainable and domestically produced. So we developed a small box that allows humans to generate electricity. It was a massive breakthrough, but in order to scale, we needed millions of users working hours a day for free. That's when video games were born. Now we know. Today, kids unknowingly power the world for free, but every once in a while, the system malfunctions. When that happens, players get frustrated, and they stop playing. The causes vary. A bug, a hacker, a rival government's energy division. But it always means trouble for the world's power grid. New York, 1977. <laughs> India, 2012. Chernobyl. 
Jesus. Cost her noble? Yeah. No Christmas bonus that year. So we commissioned an elite virtual strike force to ensure Chernobyl never happens again. This is Alpha Team, the tip of a $500 billion spear. And we're worth every penny. Are you telling me we're powering the country with video games? And the Pretty only much. thing separating us from the complete breakdown of society is four 20-something gamers? Code Black. Sign me up. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm telling you. Oh, that was true. Uh, I'm so bored. Uh, Sorry, my life. We could watch a movie. Hello, guys. It's Steven. Knock, knock. Oh, yeah. New mission, boys. Let's load out. Hey, whoa, Eddie. Respect the game. Uh, don't, don't touch, touch the, floor. the floor. Don't, don't touch, touch the floor. Don't touch remember, the floor. you must the answer the door without any foot to floor contact. Feet? We have unlimited CIA funds. You're lucky my legs still <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is why I feel like this is going to be me in a few years. <laughs> Watch the moat, dude. I see the moat, okay? I see it. <laughs> That's it. We're getting rid of the moat. No, Eddie. It's my turn. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Uh, how would I get the door before Buck is unconscious? You see, the thing about hover shoes is it's all about small, subtle movements. Something Eddie. That's it. Okay, I'm getting the door. Hey, Eddie. My turn. Hello. Anybody? Uh. Listen, man. We know you don't like this game. Cause you suck at it. No, no, no. You listen. Oh, he touched the oh, he's out. Damn it. I'm bad at anything. Okay. In fact, I'm the best. Don't touch the floor player of all time. Oh. Break your shit. Authoritative oh. yelling. Uh, thanks for getting the door, guys. You swatted our own house. Just so you know, it's a felony for a regular citizen to report a fake grundle assault. What? I had like two seconds to make something up. I am so sorry to rush, but we have a coat black. Oh yeah. yeah! I love cold blacks. Oh shocker! Cold blacks are the worst. I feel like this is them playing as them. <laughs> what the? F Please stop! Oh. Alpha team, this is Daryl. He's here to audit the program and waste our time. Daryl, this is Alpha team. We have Eddie, runs point, self-important tryhard. Oh, come on, Allison. And this is a distraction from the mission. Buck, explosions expert, speaks before he thinks. Fuck you! <laughs> Holy shit, I am so sorry. Tommy, driver, <laughs> pump, <Tourette's>. know it all. <laughs> Actually, Allison, I think you'll find that I... And Mason, ballistics, thinks sarcasm is a personality trait. It feels really natural to introduce us in detail for the benefit of a new audience. I gotta be honest, Allison. These guys seem willfully reckless and dangerously arrogant. Very observant, Daryl. But they've never failed a mission, so for now I'm stuck with them. Anyway, all non-player characters have disappeared from our game Redhead Intervention. Without them, users can't progress past story mission four. So the game is hard. Who cares? We design these games to be addictive, but when they're impossible, users stop playing. Is that a Red Dead Redemption else. reference? Like suck their own dicks on TikTok. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Software bug? Maybe. But I'm leaning towards Chinese or Russian hackers because this game powers the southwestern sector. Area 51. And the last time we lost power to Area 51, it wasn't pretty. Aww. Say aliens? Entry in 60 seconds. Don't you have programmers who can fix this? The best in the world. <laughs> oh my god, right here! <laughs> Jesus Christ, the green! <laughs> but this game has a million active players. Changing its code is like taking a sharp left in the Titanic. Okay, so why doesn't Alpha Team just play the game like everyone else? You don't fix a toilet by shitting in it, Daryl. What? <sighs> Sending them inside the game makes them part of the code. So they can do everything the average player can't. Interact directly with the environment. Hijack static vehicles. Eliminate rogue NPCs. 
That checks out. I don't have any further questions about the premise. Tommy, Mason, Buck, you guys comfortable? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm quite yeah. fine. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks for asking. <laughs> great day to save the world, huh, Ruby? Aww. Yeah, really great, Eddie. Four years of training at the farm, only to find out I'd be spending my days babysitting a group of guys who make sex dolls of their coworkers. Damn, Eddie. Hope you brought a condom to work today. Huh. I took it more as a friendship doll. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. <laughs> this thing is literally built to be fucked. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. Are you reading me, Ruby? I have like ten billion dollars of monitoring equipment. You don't have to speak into your lapel like it's a nineteen spy movie, Eddie. Man, Eddie, are you worried things might be moving a bit fast with Ruby? <sighs> this place is a ghost town. <laughs> We're losing almost a thousand players a minute. Aw, oh, come on! Where is everyone? This game is impossible! Uh, I guess I'll just go suck my own dick on TikTok. What is up with fucking dick on TikTok? That's all. I don't think that's a thing. Otherwise, Area 51 goes dark. All right, boys, let's go get some answers. Tommy, uh, why aren't you riding your horse? Yeah, it just doesn't feel right, you know? Like riding another living thing. You had a steak last night. Yeah, but like, you wouldn't ride your dog. If my dog was a horse, I'd ride it. Yeah, well, what about elephants? People freak out if you ride elephants. Tommy, could you not ride a horse? <laughs> Eddie, I'm the transportation expert. Of course I can ride a horse. I barely rode a horse once. Like, oh, no, properly. Sure the floor. Ugh. Uh, I know that might be a bit tough for you, Eddie. Yeah, ooh, the floor is lava. It's gonna burn my baby legs. I'll play it when it counts. Idiots. Uh, Ma'am, where is everybody? Two Buck Chuck has everyone holed up in the fort outside town. System malfunction is confirmed as a rogue non-player character. Ruby, you getting this? Let me check the two trillion dollar immersion rig. Oh, yeah. I'm getting it. Dollar buys you a reach around. Mm. Two dollars and I'll use my good hand. <laughs> Three dollars and I'll- Guys, be respectful. She could have been sex trafficked here. Oh. Oh, the digital prostitute uh. was sex traffic. We should start a GoFundMe. <laughs> oh, are you trying to be an ally because Ruby is listening? Guys, 90 minutes to get to that fort and kill Two Buck Chuck. Move. Still don't understand why we can't just take the horses. This is just as fast. Look, if you can't ride a horse... I can. My objection is ethical. And look at this thing. You know, the 1800s were real golden age for humanity. Except uh, life expectancy. Personal hygiene. Place is just crawling with hand jobs. Gender inequality. Oh. Oh. I like the black car. Racism. Yep. Oh. Real golden age, Tommy. I'm just saying they had cool trains, okay? I mean, back then was a terrible time. Not gonna lie. Jesus. Come on, Ev. Come on, Evan. Wait, I'm here against my will. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry. <laughs> Remember to lift with your legs, Buck. It's not my legs. Dynamite is notoriously heavy. Can you dig it? Jesus. Classic fun, Tommy. Why is she so nice to everyone else? Eddie, keep your arrogant mouth off this channel. Now do your very best to get control of that train, Tommy. Okay, let me just clear this off. Uh-oh. Are we going faster? Okay. I probably heads are more powerful for some reason. Where's Marcel? Uh, this is 100% Red Dead. Safely at the fort, on time, without abusing any animals. 
Ugh. Marcel, no! Oh, thank God. It takes 30 minutes for these rigs to reboot. <laughs> it takes my husband 45 minutes to reboot after sex, and he doesn't power Area 51. Oh. Damn it, Tommy, you killed me! Yikes. Hey, no, the cactus killed you, not me. Who cares who killed who, you morons? We have 10 minutes until Area 51 loses power. Let's go! <laughs> this show's great, I love it. <laughs> There's too many guards to blast our way in. I can give you a piggyback ride if you're worried about it. My legs are normal size. And I know because I measured them against a German soldier yesterday. You used a starving Nazi from the 1940s as a benchmark? Guys, <laughs> hmm. I have a plan. Dead Nazi was very well fed, by the way. I saw full steak in his flayed open stomach. Can I have one? What? A cheese puff. Can I have one? Mason, I'm kind of busy here. I just died, Ruby. So have a cheese puff! Sweet. Thanks, Allison. Ooh, what does this do? <laughs> I've spent ten years... Children. For absolutely no reason. No way they fall for this. Calm down. This isn't a movie where all the guards are interrogation experts. Most henchmen make minimum wage. And they're outrageously stupid. Who's there? I got two more for you. Ooh, I thought you might be here to break out all these hostages and kill our leader. But those guys' hands are tied. <laughs> okay, come on in. Okay, he has a point. He's, he's smart. Poo -poo. How long until shutdown? Five minutes. Maybe. Let's go, Lisa. My doobop isn't gonna flapple itself. Oh, I see the plan. charge around here seems that way don't it i got two more for you from my perspective looks like i got three. Oh, my bad i did have a feeling though kill him boys fucking in that jones style jesus Come on, Wilder Cat. Come on. Oh no, he's gonna miss. Fuck's sake. Oh! Fine, I can't ride horses, okay? Everyone happy? Want a cheese puff? Of course! <laughs> Definitely losing your jobs. God, she's such a good dancer. It's so down to earth. It looks like it's game over. Oh. Uh, Shite. Hey, take the shot. Uh. Shoot him! Is he uh trying to save her? Don't you dare try to save her. This is classic. Eddie, I don't care if you kill a fake hooker. Whoa, Ruby, that's a pretty hard age. Oh, shit. Eddie, 90 seconds. <sighs> Take the shot! Oh, the, oh, he's getting the taste again. Daddy, you saved me. Eddie, take the shot. Eddie, please, I got killed. Take it. I. I can't. 
What? I've seen enough. I'll be across the hall writing my report. Oh, come on, Daryl. Can't we just cut teacher salaries again? Why did we program this thing to feel pain? Somebody, please kill me. <laughs> What is he doing? No idea, but if he touches that fire, he's dead immediately. Oh, uh, maybe he's killing himself. I would. He failed the mission trying to impress a girl. <sighs> I mean, it's true. Oh my god. Young woman? True. Is girl offensive? Can I not say girl anymore? Oh. He's not touching the floor. The floor is lava. He. The greatest player of our time. I feel like I'm watching history. Who cares? He could have just shot the prostitute. You just don't get it. This is more than a game, Ruby. Of course it's Damn right it is. That's the point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Game over, isn't it? Okay, thank God it's coming back. We did it. God, I hate Alpha Team. I love him. Alpha Team. I fucking got tackled by Robocop. Oh, shit. Yeah. just to save a digital prostitute? It's the right thing to do. And that, Ruby, is what makes us Alpha Team. Amen. Oh, come on, he just wanted to prove he didn't suck it. Don't touch the floor. <laughs> we never do the right thing. I know, right? Like that time I killed that old guy in real life. <coughs> what? <laughs> Pretty good day to save the world, huh, Eddie? Yeah, Ruby. Yeah, it was. There is a giant hole in my tiny legs! Get me out of this game now! <laughs> Is that it? <clears throat> As you can guess, my recommendation will be to fold the entire program and revert to ruining the planet with non-renewable resources. Before you make your final judgment, I've got one more thing to show you. Oh, what is it? Oh, what is this, Allison? Daryl, meet Bravo team. This is Edgelord, he runs Point. Oh, great. Another frivolous character introduction. Holy shit. You got murked! Hey, Steven. Gonna need a cleanup in Bravo HQ. <sighs> Your mission was to thwart Alpha Team so I could finally fire them. We are so sorry, Allison. We tried our best. Listen, my performance as two buck Chuck was flawless. Sammy crushed it as the henchman, and Emily played prostitute perfectly. A little too perfectly, frankly. We're not even dating, Tanner. Emily, call me Edgelord. Ugh, your name is Tanner. So what? The hell happened. Uh. Well, we didn't plan on Eddie being the greatest don't touch a floor player of all time. Yeah, that was unexpected. Hello, ladies. Just getting uh, <laughs> a little bit of this mess out of your way. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? <laughs> He's a robot. Damn. Holy shit, he's Steven a robot? Huh? Ah, shoot. Ha, a spinal cord is jammed in one of my rotors. <laughs> oh my god. Can I get a hand here? Okay, that was it. Anything else? Alright. Okay, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> kind of liked it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I should continue this. I'm not. Hopefully, I don't get copyright claimed from the video. But oh, if it does, well, I'll figure something out. Anyway, well, 
Um, I think I might continue. If the show continues on, I'm not sure how, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, guys, slap the like button down below. Like and subscribe. And the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Great people. Stay awesome.